Film Riot had an awesome DIY light bar project which I also wanted to execute. So I purchased the products off Amazon and documented the build. So what did we get? A light fixture which I bought from Amazon for about $40, a swivel mount which was also $40, an outdoor extension cord. I went down to the hardware store and got myself the following things. Wire nuts, 1024 screws with the same wing nut, two extension plates, and a combination connector. I began by removing each light socket cover off the bar itself and setting it aside. When we open up the light bar, we find our exposed wires. We can see that there's a hot, neutral, and ground wire. Now we take our art door extension cord and cut off the female end. Take our wire strippers and strip off the wires. As you can see, we have a hot, neutral, and ground wire, which are also the same colors on the light bar. We put our extension cord aside for now and pop out the connector hole here in the back of our light bar. We'll take our combination connector and connect it to the back of the light bar. But for some reason, mine is a tad bit too big, so I had to start filing, which felt like an eternity. Now that we got our combination connector in there, we'll slip in our wires to the back and tighten it down using the screws provided. We'll then connect our wires matching black to black, white to white, and ground to ground. I had a change in heart and used these wire connectors instead since I didn't like how the wires were holding with the wire nuts, which then I wrapped the whole thing with electrical tape to add some extra security. Now we line up our plate in the back and mark down the holes that we're going to drill. We apply the same marking and drilling with our extension plates. Then we attach the plate to the bar using the screws and wing nuts that we bought. It's time to put this thing back together. We'll check all the wires for any loose ends and also make sure that we tuck them in. When that's completed, we put the final locking screw in its place. Since everything is locked down, we put the light sock covers back on the bar. I went with the General Electric R30 bulbs since it was recommended on Film Riot's video. I used this umbrella connector as an adapter for my stand since I don't have any C-stands. I then attached it to my light stands and turned them on. I love the effect this light gives off. It's warm, but not too harsh. I can't wait to test it in the field. Big shout out to Film Riot for this awesome DIY.